Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video, Bienvenidos. I quickly wanna share with you guys what I purchased from Sephora for the Sephora appreciation sale. You still have a little bit of time to go out and buy these things. I didn't wanna do a Sephora recommendations video, but honestly it completely slipped my mind. I didn't even know that there was a sale coming up until I checked my email. So last night I went to Sephora and I picked up some things that I've been wanting to try and some things that I just needed to read stock towards the end of this video I'm also going to share some of my Sephora favorites in case you haven't gone shopping yet and you do want some recommendations I'll be sharing with you some of my favorite products from Sephora so let's just go ahead and get into it don't mind my hair you guys I tried something new and then now that I'm on camera I'm realizing my extensions don't match my natural hair so guess what I'm gonna spend my afternoon doing after I edit this video fixing these extensions. I have my little Sephora bag here. I kind of made a list of what I wanted before I went in there because I just wanted to make sure I got what I wanted and I didn't get anything extra or spend too much money. I've kind of been on like a no buy with makeup products, but when it comes to the Sephora sale, I feel like I'm kind of obligated to buy something because they never have sales. This time around, I got a perfume. This is the Chloe Natural Spray in Nomad, Nomade. I'm really bad at pronouncing these kind of names, but this is what it looks like here. And I smelled it in store and it smells like the perfect fall everyday type of fragrance. I don't typically go through fragrances that often, so I really wanted to get this one in a smaller version. And I thought it was a rollerball, but it actually is a spray. And it doesn't smell floral at all. It smells more warm and musky. I usually like scents like that. And I feel like you can wear this both day and night. And it smells like both men and women can wear it too. It doesn't smell too feminine at all. It actually smells really, really good. I did want to get the Tom Ford. I forget the name, but it also smells really good. It's more of a summery scent. Since right now mostly everything's 20% off, I did want to get it. It's just like 120 something dollars for a little one ounce bottle. So I'm still kind of debating on it. Not sure if I'm gonna end up getting it, but that one also smells really good. And then I got the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I've heard so many people rave about this mask right here. My skin is more on the oily, oily side, but I believe this can work for all skin types. I believe you can wear this overnight as well if you really wanted to. I just, I love skincare and I'm always intrigued with masks especially. And since I heard so many people talk about this one, I was like, let me give it a try. Even though my skin is oily, I do like a lot of skincare products that are very hydrating. I'm really excited to try out this mask. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, it's this mask right here. I'm sure you guys have seen this mask like all over YouTube and all over Instagram. And I think they just launched or they're about to launch a new one as well. A second one. It's like an exfoliating one. After I try this one out and see if I like it, then maybe I'll go ahead and try out the new one as well. I also got the Coda Lee Beauty Elixir for smoothing, glowing complexion. And they do have a travel size version of this, but I go through sprays like this so quickly and I thought might as well 20% off. So I've heard really good things about this product as well. I've never tried it, but I was smelling it and it smells very minty and refreshing. Something that I would want to wear or put on my skin right when I wake up in the morning after washing my face just to wake up my skin. You can also use this to refresh your makeup after, you know, application or throughout the day. I just had to restock on my way hair oil. I've gone through, this is the third bottle of mine and I love this stuff. I use it on my hair all the time and I highly recommend this product. It's very lightweight. It doesn't leave your hair looking very greasy or oily at all. I mainly apply this to the ends of my hair right before blow drying. And then after I straighten my hair, I go ahead and put in just a little bit more to make my hair look nice and silky and so it doesn't look so dried up. They do have another one that is a rose scent. I haven't tried it, but honestly, I, I just always gravitate towards this one. Another highly recommended product for me is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. And this is another restock for me. I think this is also the third one that I've gone through or that I'm about to go through. 
I did get it in a different shade this time though. I got it in golden tan. I used to use warm beige, but I feel like it was a little too neutral for me, which is weird because it is a warm beige color. But for the summertime, I just felt like it wasn't matching me right. So I decided to get this one and this is again, golden tan. I love this stuff. It is so easy to apply, so easy to blend. It's full coverage. It makes your skin look very healthy as well. It's not drying at all. I this is my go to everyday foundation right here if I'm ever in a rush and I just want to apply something quickly and I want to look put together this is my go to even if I'm not in a rush and I'm going out for a full day of running errands or for a night out whatever this is also a go to with a good setting powder though if I'm gonna wear this for a night out I have to set it because if not my skin can look very very greasy and kind of starts to slip around and stuff love 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 this stuff another I've I got three foundations. I have so many foundations and I somehow managed to spend my money on more foundations. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. Since I'm obsessed with the Hourglass one, I really wanted to give this one right here a shot. I've also heard great things about this one. I think when I used to work at Sephora, I gave this one a try, but I couldn't really find my shade. And I think I found a good one. So hopefully this works out for me. I got the shade 153 or Y405. This is supposed to also be medium to full coverage, easy to blend. I just, something about stick foundations, it makes everything a lot easier. It looks a lot better on the skin. Cream products look a lot better, at least for me, than a liquid. It just, it goes on a lot more seamlessly. Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. I've already used this one and I like this foundation. The only thing is the shade that I have is a little bit too dark for me. I have the shade Baklava, but I ended up getting Tres Leches because a lot of you that are similar to my skin tone said that this one would work good for me. This is full coverage. It has more, I don't want to say it has a matte finish because it doesn't. It has more of a satin finish but it is completely full coverage and it's perfect for a super glam look as well i think i did a full review on this foundation here on my channel as well but it is a really good one and then the last product that i have in here is a liquid lipstick it's the anastasia beverly hills color in maud mod maud m-a-u-d-e i wasn't thinking of getting anything from abh but I, like I said, I saw this color and I was like, I kind of need this in my life, especially for the fall time. It is a really pretty brownish, burnt orange kind of color. Let me swatch it so you can see how it looks. I'm obsessed, obsessed with colors like this around the fall time. It screams fall pumpkin spice latte. I don't even like pumpkin spice lattes, but it screams all of that. Like, I love colors like this. Anytime I can get my hands on a liquid lipstick that is this color i will and it's matte it stays forever i swatched it yesterday and i was struggling to get it off my hand so you know that this is going to last really really long on the lips abh liquid lipsticks are bomb they're super pigmented and they last a long time so that's everything that i bought from sephora now as far as what i recommend if you guys you know want to go out and buy some stuff of course the two products that i already talked about the hourglass foundation stick third time I buy this thing and then the way hair care hair oil again third time that I'm buying this love these two products and I highly recommend them lately my go-to primers have been the hourglass veil mineral primer this I've been using insanely I've been using this so so much especially for the summertime it just makes your skin look very smooth underneath your foundation and another one that i love for smoothing is the tatcha silk canvas i don't use this one a whole lot on camera but i do almost on an everyday basis i want to say if i'm not using this one of course i'll kind of switch off between these two today i am wearing this one underneath my foundation love this stuff especially if right now it's 20 percent off tatcha products are a little bit more on the pricey side so it's a good time to kind of try some things out i believe they have a little set with this product a little mini one if you want to just give it a try but these two primers are really good besides the hourglass foundation another foundation that i love is the becca ultimate coverage complexion cream this is full full coverage it does have kind of a semi matte finish it's not too drying though i've i love this foundation i think i've gone through a whole bottle of this one as well I really love this stuff I use the shade olive and if you're looking for 
a good special occasion foundation or if you just love full coverage on a regular basis then this is a good one as well it does not get cakey it applies really really well with a beauty blender and with a brush either way you're going to get amazing coverage and a great finish and then another one the one that i'm wearing on my skin right now is the clinique beyond perfecting foundation and concealer this one i don't use a whole lot on camera as well i used to use this a whole lot on my channel i love this stuff as well because it's super easy to apply similar to a stick foundation because of the applicator you just kind of swipe it on blend it out and you're good to go and I use this one in the shade 8 Golden Neutral. Right now, my go-to concealers are the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealers. I use the shade Warm Sand and Sand. I mix these two together. These are also really nice coverage. They have a great finish underneath the eyes. They do not crease. I'm using these over a lot of the other concealers that I used to use before. I like to use these for concealing, highlighting under the eye, and I also have these in darker shades to bronze and contour. These are just like intense, super, super, super coverage, so if you like that, then these you'll really, really like. For bronzing up my skin, I want to talk about two things here, the Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick. I'm wearing this on the perimeter of my face. I used it underneath my bronzer. It's easy to blend as well, but it's matte. So once it sets, it's gonna stay in place all day long. You're not gonna have to worry about it coming off or anything. You can probably even go without setting this with a powder bronzer on top because of how matte this thing gets. Since this does dry pretty quickly, I would suggest putting the product onto a brush and then tapping it into your skin just so you're able to work a lot better that way and to set my bronzer my cream bronzer even if I'm not wearing a cream bronzer I love using this stuff this is the Becca sunlit bronzer in a Panama Sun this is what it looks like right here and this is the packaging love this stuff as well it's the perfect tone for my skin tone they do have a deeper one but it's very reddish or orangish this is one of those bronzers that the longer you wear on your skin the better it looks it does not wear off at all it doesn't make you look gray or like i don't know i love a warmer bronzer or a warmer contour shade i do not like more of the cool tone gray contours i just it doesn't look good on my skin tone so i like to bronze and even contour with these kinds of shades right here my favorite setting powder this just i don't even have to say much about it the laura mercier translucent powder it's a good time to stock up on this because this powder is a little bit more on the pricey side but it is a go-to you can use it on so many different skin tones and they recently came out with an illuminating one and they have some for deeper complexions as well this is just a staple and a must-have a good highlighter from Sephora is the dual finish highlighter from Lancome I like the shade sparkling peach it's this look at how shimmery and how bold and intense this looks but it's very very skin like and it's almost like a cream to powder formula i want to say it doesn't look powdery on the skin at all that's how it looks right there it's the most pretty gold shade i love this it's also great for all year round they do have a different one that's a little bit more on the pinky peach side this is my favorite though right here on my brows lately i've been going for more of a pomade i used to use a pencil a lot but I find that I kind of switch off. Sometimes I like to use a pencil, sometimes I use a pomade. And the pomade that I've been using that it's a go-to, it's the Benefit Cabral. And this one does come with a little brush, and I honestly just use this brush. I don't use any other eyebrow brush. It's tiny, but it gives you a really precise, you know, brow or a hair stroke. I've just been using this thing a ton. And a little bit goes a long way I've had this one for quite some time and I'm barely about halfway through it and I use mine in shade 4 by the way and the last product that I have that I would love and recommend is the urban decay all-nighter setting spray 
Again, this is one that I recommend to anybody that wants your makeup to last all day. I mean, who doesn't want their makeup to last, you know, forever? I used to use this all the time when I used to work at Sephora. I used to use it on clients. I use this on myself on an everyday basis when I just want my makeup to really lock in place. It doesn't give you like a dewy finish at all. It just makes your makeup just stay. I, again, have gone through bottles and bottles of this right here. And if you're looking for something that's really going to lock your makeup in place, not something that's going to get you, you know, dewy at all all then this would be one that you might want to try that's everything that i have for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did leave me a comment show me some love down below and make sure your post notification bell is turned on so you don't miss my videos thank you all so much for watching i love you all los quiero mucho and i will see you all in my next video